Good morning and welcome everyone. Thank you all for joining us for today's webinar. My name is Kevin Vallejo and I'm the North American Commercial Manager for the Radiation Monitors Department. As some of you may already know, Traceco offers a wide range of radiation monitors and today our business development coordinator in Brazil, Vinicius Santiago and I will be will be presenting and speaking to you all about NORM and some of the capabilities that we have to offer. If you have any questions during the presentation, you all have been sent a link to Slido where you can submit your questions. The team will go over them at the end of the presentation and we'll get back to you individually. For those just joining us, welcome. Our mission is to continue to be a world leading industrial technology company that creates unique and specialized detection, diagnostics and measurement solutions to provide companies with the, with the insight they need to make better decisions about their operations. Traceco comes from humble beginnings as we started off as a small research team in 1958. Now being in operation a little over 60 years and having offices across six continents, Traceco has enjoyed tons of success from the 1960s when we developed and installed the first nucleonic level instrument to 2009 when we were awarded the Queen's Award for innovation for the world's first intrinsically safe radiation monitor. Now our products, services, and innovations span the globe, helping businesses operate safely, more efficiently, all while saving the money. Traceco employs just about 400 employees, and we have 20 bases globally with our North American headquarters located in Pasadena, Texas, as well as having calibration and repair service centers in the UK, the US, Malaysia, and Australia. Now my colleague Vinicius will speak to you all about NORM and the capabilities that we have to offer. Thanks, Kevin. As Kevin introduced me, my name is Vinicius Santiago from Tresco Brazil, and today I will give you an overview about the NORM services. As some of you may know, NORM is an acronym for Naturally Occurring Radioactive Materials, and in some literatures you may also find reference to LSA materials. That stands for Low Specific Activity. As the name already says, it's natural and exists in the F crust naturally. Most radioactive isotopes products from the thorium and uranium decay chain. The most common isotopes found on norm samples analysis are the radium 226, lead 210, bismuth, thallium, radium 226, and in some cases you can also find uranium and thorium. I told you that's natural and can be found on the F crust naturally. But if it's natural, why is it dangerous? Why are we concerned about norm? So, norm can come to us by natural process, like the radium gas surging from the ground rocks, for example, or by human activities when a man intervening on the nature, like mining, oil and gas extraction, coal burning, and some others. Those activities significantly increase human exposure to norm ionizing radiation, rising the risk of contamination or irradiation by norm. Both dangerous for human health, as it may increase the risk of developing cancer, especially lung cancer if you get contaminated by breathing the norm particles. As I mentioned before, some industries are known for having norm issues. So they are known as norm industry because of the subproduct of their process, the norm. Today, we will focus on the oil and gas industry, especially the offshore part of the process. In some countries like Brazil, where I come from, the oil and gas are extracted from the seabed rock by several offshore units <coughs> located around the coast that are responsible for extraction and the production of the crude oil that will be then be exported to the continent by subsea pipes or tank vessels. Now you are probably wondering where the norm comes from in the oil and gas offshore units. So it's carried along with the oil water and the sand extracted from the oil reservoirs at the seabed, reaching the surface and passing through the entire production process on our offshore unit. 
As a result of years of production, the norm starts accumulating in some equipments and pipes internals, creating a huge norm deposit. The deposits present a real irradiation danger to offshore personnel passing several times through the production area, or even worse, during an intervention for repair or internal cleaning where the contamination risk is huge. The offshore environment is extremely hostile, as you can see on the picture. There are hundreds of robust equipments, kilometers of high pressure and heated pipes, and thousands of valves. So, how do you detect something you cannot see or feel in a place like this? The answer is a complete hydrometric serve in the entire unit, starting on the drilling, passing through the separation, processing, and storage models of an offshore unit. For the survey, you'll need a special tool. And this is a part of our biggest star, the award-winning intrinsically safe radiation monitors enter the stage. My colleague Kevin will be presenting each one of them later with the correct application and technical specifications. Those are the only equipments that allow us to identify the norm deposits on site. Each one with a different detecting technology to precisely identify the dose rate variation indicating the norm deposit location either inside an equipment or a vessel or a pipe. As any trace go high quality job, the survey needs to be well planned to minimize the impact on the client process. So for the planning, we request in advance all the PNID related to the modules where the oil and the producer water has passed. We get together with the client that know the process and highlight all the areas that are known for accumulating norm. Using this PID as an example, we are looking for the water lines, the oil lines, and also for filters and any restriction points. Once the planning is completed, it's time for our RPA specialists to embark on the offshore unit for the survey. Most of the units are FPSOs and drilling platforms. Before the survey start, the radiation monitors must be checked against a known test source to guarantee the accuracy of the monitor reading. Also, the background value must be registered. A nice feature of the Norm Monitor IS is the log background function that makes this process much easier and faster. Once the survey starts, our specialists will go through every pipe, vessel, filter, equipment where the oil and produced water has passed. As you can see on the picture, it's a meticulous job that requires experienced professionals and high quality instruments for a standard, for a standard Sorry, for a standard tricycle quality job where the impact to the client is minimal. Remember that I told you about the background value. This is because during a survey, a constant dose rate value is expected. So when a monitor registers a significant dose rate increase compared to the background value, this is an indication for an arm deposit. And when we notice a significant variation, we take a note of the dose value along with the exact location. This information will be then be included in the final report issued to the client. During the entire survey, the dose rate value indicating or not an ore deposit must be under the no classified person limit. This limit can differ depending on the country you are, so you have to check your country current legislation about this about radiation protection. If during a survey uh, or specialists detect a dose rate above those limits, they must communicate immediately the AS team to isolate the surrounding, avoiding the exposure to ionizing radiation. Our specialists and RPS are qualified to calculate a safe distance between the source and the free area. Also, a public curtain must be placed with a radiation sign alerting people of the exposure risk. 
we have experienced this situation in some offshore units before, and one of them became a very interesting issue case. You can find this issue case at our website, and it's really worth reading. When the hydrometric survey is completed, our on-site job is finished. So our specialist will return to the office and study all the values obtained during the survey, checking the dose rate behaviors and marking the points where needed monitoring as a possible spot for another deposit. All the information will be passed to the job reports and sent to the client, along with our, our recommendations for normal cleaning where the dose rates were higher than the limit. Threshold personnel does not perform the, the normal cleaning as we are specialists in radiation protection. Our job on a normal cleaning job is advising how the process should be conducted regarding the hydrological safety for the cleaning crew. The first step on a normal cleaning service is isolate the surrounding and cover the floor and equipment in this area. For two purposes, one, it's it's disposable as you can wrap up everything and put on uh, contamination waste. And second, to avoid normal material to fall into inferior levels and spread the contamination. Also, our RPS will define an area where the cleaning crew coming outside of the vessel or the tank will have to wait for the discontamination and radiation check. Once the area is completely isolated, our RPS needs to establish the local rules for ingress and check the internal dose rate for hydrological safety of the works. Based on the internal dose rate value, he will calculate the stay time for each patient that will be directly exposed to ionizing irradiation. All this sludge scale norm waste must be played in a dual layer plastic bag and stored in an offshore drum with the hydrological label according to the dose rate level. All this process is closely supervised by our RPS to avoid any contamination spread and guarantee the hydrological safety. So during the normal cleaning service, Samples of, the, samples of the material must be taken for norm analysis. Depending on the value of the waste and the dose rate values, the number of samples can vary from work equipment per drum or a number of samples per equipment cleaned. And with this, I end my presentation about norm on our RPA service. Hope you like it. And if you have any question or suggestion, please submit them via Slido and we'll get back to you. Thanks for your time. And now my colleague Kevin will talk about intrinsic safety and radiation monitors. So fires are a hazard in, in many industries. Sometimes it's quite evident and as when flammable gases like hydrogen, propane are being produced or handled, but in other situations it's a, loss, a lot less obvious. For an example, dust can be highly combustible. A fire needs fuel, oxygen, and an ignition source. Flammable gases, vapors, and dust provide the fuel. Oxygen is present in most environments, and ignition can come from a spark or a hot surface. As you know, any fire is dangerous, but in more extreme cases, combustion is so rapid, which can cause an explosion. Preventing fires and explosions is the top priority as no business or organization wishes to be responsible for causing death or injury to any employee, which is why intrinsically safe monitors were introduced into the market. Intrinsically safe monitors allow for safe operation in hazardous areas where flammable gases, combustible dust, and fibers are present. They are designed to limit the electrical, thermal, electrical and thermal energy available for ignition. Most equipment in industrial markets are at risk for internal sparks, overheating, and short-circuiting, so controlling the internal temperatures and simplifying the circuit by adjusting the components is a must in order to protect workers from a variety of threats. Intrinsically safe monitors are usually used in refineries and the chemical plants, and, have, and having an intrinsically safe monitor would eliminate the, the need for a hot work permit. All of our radiation monitors are ATEX certified, zero zone approved for explosive atmospheres. 
In the 1970s, Tracego was actually the first organization to successfully launch the world's first intrinsically safe radiation monitor. Tracego offers a wide range of radiation monitors to measure radiation dose rate or monitor process in environmental contaminants in a number of applications. Radiation monitors play a vital role in radiological protection and the capability to act quickly and safely to incidents in dangerous and hazardous environments is extremely important for anyone being potentially exposed to radiation. It's essential that personnel are equipped with the correct radiation monitoring equipment to ensure that any radiological hazard is detected and any exposure to radiation is monitored carefully. Selecting the appropriate radiation equipment for your specific application needs to carefully be chosen as the type of instrument and detector you're utilizing needs to match that of the radiation you'll be potentially exposed to. Here I'll be speaking to you about three widely held radiation monitors, which are the Tracego contamination monitor, the dose, the dose rate monitor, and the personal dosimeters used in the norm industry. Working with unsealed radioactive materials carries the risk of contamination. Contamination monitors enable the operator to confidently detect and quantify contamination arising from NORM under most environmental conditions. Our NORM kit is provided as a single data processing unit and has the choice of two types of radiation detection probes. The GM pancake and the scintillator based probes will detect the presence of any NORM. There can be significant variations in detect detection sensitivity from different scale types. It can detect wet and dry NORM in a variety of situations. The following table below provides guidance on the selection of probes for a particular norm measurement application. The GM probe is perfect for alpha and beta measurements and measures in counts per seconds or counts per minute and Becquerel per centimeter squared. The scintillator probe is extremely sensitive to gamma radiation and has the ability to undertake surveys of external walls and measure norm in no low diameter tubular in internals and it has a 360 degree response. The operator should always observe local operating procedures and where appropriate, seek confirmation from the appointed RPS or RPA. The scintillator probe can also be used to locate the radioactive source. The contamination monitor is also used to identify leaking radioactive sources, as well as to check for contamination on persons exiting contaminated areas. Survey meters are mainly used when workers enter into areas where radio, radioactive materials are stored or used. The monitor measures radiation dose rates and accumulated dose, thus helping the user identify possible health risks and demonstrate regulatory compliance. They are also used to look for the existence of unexpected radioactive materials and to check for leaks in radioactive shielding. The survey monitor has the capability of measuring in X-ray and gamma radiation and in real time and uses GM technology to measure in microsieverts per hour or millirem per hour. The PEDs deliver exceptional performance across a wide range of environments and applications. Tracego has designed the PEDs to be the easiest personal radiation monitors to use and understand in the market today. Everything on the devices has been designed with the user in mind. The display system features radiation graph measurements and a simple diagram of a person who fills in with color according to the dose of radiation received. All of our PEDs include weather, shock and drop proof housing, a smooth clean design, and a simple to use dose vision software. Tracego's range of personal electronic dosimeters are suitable for the oil and gas industry, medical and life sciences, nuclear, CBRE and emergency services, the NDT market, manufacturing and industrial, and environmental and waste management industries. We offer both intrinsically safe and non intrinsically safe options for everybody's needs. The PEDIS is an intrinsically safe personal dosimeter which is perfect for both radiation specialists and those who do not work with radiation on a daily basis. It is safe to use in potentially explosive environments and it is robust and reliable, making it ideal for challenging conditions. 
Since it is intrinsically safe, there is no need for a hot work permit, and the PDIS is very flexible as you can choose from three radiation measurement modes and four different alarm levels. Thank you all for tuning in today. The team and I really appreciate it. We hope that you enjoyed it and learned a lot from this webinar. I encourage you all to please submit your questions into Slido and we will get back to each and every one of you individually. Again, thank you and we look forward to hearing from you and have a great rest of your day.